everyone, it's Chad from the Bear Paw team. Uh, we have uh, always have a lot of questions about picking the right arrow and what to look for, what's correct, what's not correct. So we're gonna have a little review on that today. So first of all, we want to know what the correct length is for your arrow. That's the most important point at the beginning. So <clears throat> at best, you have a length indicator for uh, to find out the length of your arrow. So, what we do in this case, attach it to our string here, test it two, or two to three times to make sure that you find the right draw length, and when you pull back, it indicates your length here at the front, and then release, pull back again, check it once more, and that's how you determine your, uh, the correct length for your arrows. So once you've determined the draw length, you also want to ensure that you're looking here. And as we see here, we have a 30. So you also have to incorporate the fact that you'll have the point on the front. But you, with the point on the arrow, you also want to make sure you are at least coming here to the front of the riser or even a little bit past. Going any shorter, you have a possibility of the arrow being completely erratic and not flying correctly. So, another important point that we have for arrows, the spine. What is the spine? The spine is the stiffness of the shaft of your arrow. So in that case, we have two different options. We have either wood arrows or we have carbon arrows. Carbon arrows, the spine will go from anywhere between 300 up to 1600 within our assortment. The higher you go in the spine, the weaker the shaft will be. And it's ex exactly the opposite with the wood arrows. The higher you go on the number, the stiffer the spine is. So why is the spine important? We have, uh, there's what's called the archer's paradox in archery. When, when you're shooting, the arrow is not exactly going 100% straight upon release. So what you actually have is upon release, the arrow makes its way across the shelf and actually will bend in mid-flight. So what you have is the arrow flying and it's bending back and forth. So what happens is if you have the incorrect spine, if it's too weak, it's going to fly to the right. And if it's too stiff, it's going to fly to the left. And the best way to test this is shooting anywhere between 20 to 30 meters to ensure that you have the correct spine for the arrow. And that goes for right-handers. So if you're a lefty, then if it's too stiff, then it's going to go to the right. And if it's too weak, it will go to the left. So one thing to keep in mind with the points and the weight of your points is if you have the heavier your point goes, it can also reduce the spine. So everyone, hope this video was informational for you. If you have any further questions, you can contact us directly at Bearpaw. Uh, you can give us a call or send us an email and we can help you out further.